Hello everyone, the procedural flow map version 3.1 is released. In this video, I will show you the new features, update and fixes. So let's get start. Uh, you will get this zip file from the Blender market or from my Gumroad page. So when you unzip this, uh, you will get all these files. So these files for different Blender versions and this is the documentations. So let me open this. So this is the detailed documentations uh, for the flow map. Please read this documentation to get the in-depth information about the settings of the flow map modifier and other notes and also the material and how to export the flow map. Okay. To use the flow map as assets, you have to assign the flow map as a library here. So basically press this plus button, then navigate the file and then assign on the file according to your blender version and then add that as as a library okay so i have already added this and then you can save the preference so after that you can use this as asset so let me add a plane by the way you can use this flow map for any object whether it is 2d or 3d okay uh, provided that it should have a uniform uh, topology to get a nice result okay are uh, we going to do that for the mesh plane okay so let's add a mesh plane and then we're going to add let's say different texture uh, probably this one okay so we have this texture so the first step is uh, we have to subdivide this plane uh, go to the edit mode and then we need to subdivide this okay something like that so you can even add higher number of subdivisions okay so it has this uh, texture now we're going to drag this modifier into this see it has added the flow map modifier and the texture is changed i'll show you how to add that texture back so go to the shader editor so this is our original material we're going to select the flow map material okay here and in the input texture you need to select your texture so we're going to select this texture see now it is back and see it is going along this curve okay let me pin this and let's also add the this modifier settings for the flow map so this is a new ui of the flow map modifier version 3.1 okay so this is how you can add your texture uh, to this okay now i will show you the new features and updates okay or uh, let me open a different file so we have this original file okay the first and really important update is that the fast method you can use this option when you are using the flow map uh, for a really dense mesh or you are using the collision options okay it's going to do the calculations only for the mask region okay whether it is defined by this attribute or defined by the car keep that in mind don't use this feature while using the curve trim option it's going to create this kind of strange artifacts okay otherwise it works well after that you have the curve settings so here you can define your direction curve so we have this curve here you can basically trim that you can change the tangent direction invert the normals okay you can even mix these normal and tangent okay and after this you have the collision so here you can define the collection that contain the mesh object for the collision okay so you can add that collection here and you can define these parameters like the collision factor and the effective size for the collision and trail distance then you have the global smooth settings to smooth the calculations for the flow map and after that you have the mask settings they are new so now you have two options you can define the mask uh, based on the curve basically this direction curve so you can uh, change these parameters or you can define the mask uh, based on the attribute basically you can create your own mask based on the vertex group or based on the this color attributes or you can create your own procedural uh, mask for this and you can define that here okay so in the curve mask you can use the radius as size basically you can use the curve radius as the size so this is really handy to define uh, different regions of along the curve uh, let me go to the edit mode and uh, we can change 
the radius of individual cards like we can make it bigger or we can make it even smaller something like that or let me make this really small see suppose if you see this kind of artifacts then you can disable this fast method okay so these artifacts will be disappeared so this is basically because of really lower value of the fall of width after this you have the flow map settings so here you can enable or disable the flow map you want to export the flow map as a image texture you can first enable that then in the material you have this option to export the flow map basically you can bake this as image texture and use that in different softwares okay and here you can change the speed of the flow map like you can make it really slow or make it fast and there is a new option this is the tilt as speed basically you can use the curve tilt to define the speed for individual curves okay let me go to the edit mode and also enable this option so we have this speed for this curve okay and let's add another curve maybe duplicate that and for this curve we can make it really slow 0.5 see so this is really slow and this is fast so with the tilt option you can define the speed for individual curves okay next you have the face you can basically change the face for this and you can also add the gradient to this okay or uh, let me disable this so it's going to define the gradient from the start of the curve to the end of the curve and you can also offset this gradient along the curve okay so this is really handy see the flow is starting uh, slowly and then it is building up next you have a new option that is the flow mesh like in this case we are flowing the map basically the uv map and with this you can flow the mesh let me disable this and enable this option see it is flowing the mesh along the curve so you can displace the mesh along the normal of the surface or you can displace them in the general direction basically in the direction of the field and here you can define the strength for the displacement then you have the speed controls are uh, similar to this flow map after that you have the noise settings so here you can define the noise field that is flowing along the curve you can increase it is scaled then the details and also define the speed for this field so it is changing with time so there is no repetition uh, with time so this is really handy to create this kind of uh, flow like a waterfall or river nice thing about this is that you can also combine this uh, with the flow map so now you have this really nice effect uh, let me show you this so this is without the flow mesh and this is with the flow mesh uh, let me slightly decrease the strength So now it is no longer 2D, you have a 3D depth uh, to this. Okay. Then you have the geometry setting. So here you can define the level for the depth or elevate this. There are different mask options for this. You can define the mask uh, based on the car, or you can use the attribute mask, or you can define your own custom mask uh, for this level. Okay. And another update is that you can bake uh, some of the calculations of the flow map to make it really fast uh, while you are iterating different settings of the flow map flow mesh and geometry basically you can bake the curve collision smooth and mask calculations just go to the geometry notes editor press home key and then select this and then press the period key I'm going to zoom this part so here you can bake uh, the calculations let me first unmute this using the m key and after that you can bake this like you can bake 
that as a still if these parameters are not changing with time if they are changing with time then you can bake them as animation if we bake this uh, let me show you the performance so this is uh, with the bake and if we delete the bake mute this so this is without the baking okay and here you can also change the profile for the curve mask and the face gradient okay for the flow map and also for the flow mesh and the next update is that now you can add the variation to the speed uh, let me disable the flow mesh so see it is uniform along the curve so you can add the variation to this so let's first add the geometry nodes to this and then move this to the top and let's create a new node setup the geometry nodes so here you can add the store attribute node there are two internal attributes one for the flow map and one for the flow mesh so that is flow map factor so you can use this to change or add the variation to the speed of the flow map or flow mesh it is one now we can add the mix node and after that we can add the noise texture let me make this 10 and this 0 and make this one so this is without the noise and this is with the noise so this is really strong maybe 0.75 let me make it really strong here you can see so these parts are moving slow and these parts are moving fast okay so in this way you can add the variation uh, to the flow you can also define this flow factor uh, based on the color or based on the vertex group just name that as flow map factor and similarly you can define that for flow mesh that is flow mesh factor okay next update is related to the material i have clean up the material now it is really easy to understand so these are the main nodes and here you're going to input your texture okay and this node provide all the information about the flow map and flow mesh and all these masks and the flow map that you want to export okay so now you can easily mix your texture or a material with this material okay so these are the updates for the procedural flow map i hope you like this video so if you like then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noting bye